Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm here in ooh, Rio de Janeiro. I just walked outside of my stand over there, the Airbnb, and there's a big market going on over here. So let's go check it out. I woke up and it was very, very loud this morning. I was curious what's going on. So now we can figure it out. It's a, a big market where people are selling all sorts of fruits, flowers. It's pretty crowded. It started pretty early. I woke up at like 5 a.m. and people were already out here. People were already out here setting things up. It's super loud. We got veggies over there, fresh fruits. Ooh, some of the stuff looks really fresh. It might be way too loud to hear me, but we'll see. Ooh, check out how green all that stuff is. Super green. But anyways, I've been in Rio for like four or five days now. And it's been really cool. The problem was I was sick a while back. So I think I had some version of COVID. It's bad ridden for like a few days, but I'm back now. Ooh, I think you can get Brazilian cheese over there. Brazilian cheese is supposed to be really good. Haven't tried it quite yet. These are the types of markets I like. A lot going on, even the uh, meat market too. That guy sells, you don't even need a stall to sell. Huevos, eggs, ooh, asados. So good. So in Brazil, they speak Portuguese, which is a language I don't speak. But it's kind of similar to Spanish. Oh, check out all that. Get even fresh fish, all that. It's pretty cool. But um, yeah, it's been kind of tricky to communicate with people as Spanish and Portuguese are kind of similar, but they have very, very different accents. Ooh, even flowers. Nice. But it smells so fresh right here. Ooh, I think you can even get food over there. Maybe we do that in a minute. I am looking for some uh, coffee. It smells so fresh right here. And they speak Portuguese in Brazil, which, you know, I guess because the Portuguese were the first Europeans who were not the first Europeans, but the Europeans that populated it. Wow, very, oh wow, look how yellow those bananas are. So fresh. It's like fresh meat, fresh fruit, fresh veggies. As there's a lot going on right here. Very, very busy. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it's been, Long story short is it's been kind of hard to communicate. Not too many people speak English. Generally, I'm a lot more comfortable in Spanish speaking countries because I can get by. But here, it's a lot of um, a lot of pointing and grunting. And that's how you get, that's how you get, uh, that's how you get by. I love these bananas, so yellow. Let's go find some coffee. So I guess the market was just that street back there. So we're out of it now. But I love Brazil. I'm having a really good time here. I wish I had more time here overall. Oh, ciao. And so, I definitely know I'll be back. All right. Obrigado. Hey. Oh, put the uh, straw. Ooh. Obrigado. Mm. Mm. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. So now we have a coconut. Mm. I know. So, that coconut cost five real, like uh, 90 cents for the coconut. I think not everyone is a fan of the, the cameras. Get some um, comments every now and then. So, I'm gonna finish this up and then let me show you my apartment where I'm staying and the Airbnb. Because it's pretty good. It's a pretty good place to stay. So, this is my Airbnb. Who am I staying at? Pretty, pretty compact, but it's everything I need. Oh, I don't need these inside. So basically, it's like uh, two blocks away from Copacabana Beach, which is the big beach in Rio. And you can see, that's the market out there, just where we were. It started very early and kind of got very loud, but I got my bed here. I got all my stuff here, luggage, uh, kitchen, you know, fridge. You got some, Bathrooms, uh, shower, bathroom, all that jazz. Pretty good, good AC too, and very good Wi-Fi. I think I'm paying like 30 something, 32 bucks a night here, which is pretty good compared to like, if you were in Miami or literally anywhere in the States, you'd have to pay hundreds of dollars a night just to get a similar apartment, which is two, two blocks away from the beach. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Hmm. You may have heard a slight altercation a few clips back, but not everyone is fond of the videos walking around with a camera. You know, I get it. 
I'm still kind of getting used to walking around with a camera because it is kind of intrusive to a degree, but it's something I want to get better at. Um, and like for 99 uh, people I come across, you know, they don't have a problem with the camera. Some people do. I met one person who did. You know, it is what it is. I'm gonna double espresso here and some fresh coconut water. So yeah, I think later on, we'll go down to the beach, Copacabana Beach, and check it out for real. But first, I have to do a bunch of work. 